We've been excited for some time now for the Hyundai Ioniq 5 to finally hit the streets here in the US. Meanwhile, here at the LA Auto Show, we're taking a peek a little further down the line into Hyundai's all-electric feature. This is the 7 Concept. We're gonna take our first look right now. Before we see the 7 Concept inside and out, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and help us grow. You can also find us on social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. So this is obviously a concept car and it looks very concepty. It's not close to production, but we can make some assumptions that this will be the next model in Hyundai's all-electric lineup following the Ionic 5. This is supposed to preview what will eventually be called the Ionic 7. We also filmed today the Kia EV9, which is the successor to the EV6, the second model in its EV lineup. This is getting a little confusing with the Hyundai Kia situation and they all have different numbers and names, but let's keep them separated for now. What they all share in common is they're on the EGMP electric platform. It's a modular architecture and it's gonna enable them to create electric vehicles big and small. Because this is still very much a concept, we don't have too many specifics on power other than we know it's gonna have 800 volt architecture and it's gonna have the next generation of ultra fast charging for an EV. We're talking 350 kilowatt charging. That should allow it to go from 10 to 80% in less than 20 minutes. This is gonna be a very quick charging vehicle. Horsepower, battery capacity, all that is still up in the air for now. What we do know is we can take away some of the cues from the design and really see what will make that Ionic 7 production vehicle when it does debut. It's really unfortunate that these lights aren't on right now, but they're the same sort of pixel lights that we see on the Ionic 5. They look very video gamey and very futuristic. There's a big strip that goes across the entire front fascia, and we have an additional panel of lights that sort of work on either side. Um, it's neat, it sets it apart. We've been complimentary of the Ionic 5 versus the Kia EV6 because they're on the same architecture underneath, but the two brands have done a very good job of keeping the two cars very distinct. This, compared to the Kia EV9 concept that we also saw today, again, they look very distinct, very cool. As far as what I'm partial to design-wise, I think this is actually a little bit neater, especially in the front, though that Kia is a lot more boxy or a lot more off-roady, which is sort of in line with the rest of their cars as well. Pixel lighting all up front. We have a new Hyundai emblem at the front of the car, but it's baked into the paint job. It looks really neat. I haven't seen this before on a Hyundai Concept. And around the side of it, concepty, right? No mirrors on it yet. This is just a general uh, design representation of what we can expect. These wheels to me look more like Genesis than anything else. We just saw the Genesis X concept a few months ago and the wheel motif was pretty similar. Hyundai, Kia, Genesis, all three of them are known for doing killer wheel designs. So you know that when Ionic 7 does make production, there's gonna be fantastic wheel options to pick from. The general shape of the car is sort of strange as of now. We can assume that because this is going to be a mid full size SUV, it will obviously have four doors. So the silhouette that we see right now is not too indicative of what will come. I like the rake of it. There's this really neat element that works in this pillar right here. And there's only a few body creases. That's different. We normally see a lot more body creases, especially in modern Hyundai vehicles. The Elantra has that giant stamp in this side of the door. So this is a bit more restrained. That said, the back of the car is anything but restrained. The back of the 7 concept is, well, it's straight up wild, to be honest with you. Where the front of the car, you can almost see how some of that will make production. This. I don't really know what to make of it. There's a giant glass window that almost looks like a storefront and you can get close to it and literally see inside of the car. And that includes the Hyundai logo, which is actually on the interior of the car. You have to look through the glass to see it. How freaking cool is that? The same pixel lighting goes all the way around this giant window and when it's lit up, it looks a lot more dynamic. Um, there is a little seven logo right here. I wonder if that's the script that they'll use when Ionic 7 makes production, but for now they kind of tucked it away into the corner and kept it neat and tidy. Overall, it's sort of like retro futuristic station wagon. I have no idea. Give me some words. What comes to your mind when you see this? Let us know in the comments. Now finally, let's check out the most dramatic part of this car, the interior. Inside the 7 Concept, they're making this thing closer to a living room than a working vehicle. There's a sectional couch in the back, a passenger chair that's set back from the dash, and a driver's seat, if you can call it that. The ceiling also includes a giant display which looks like it can play back TikToks, because who wouldn't want that? 
Weirdest of all is a UV light sanitizer that shoots up from the ground and blasts the interior to get rid of germs. Folks, the future's nuts. This has been a cool first look into Hyundai's next steps with all of their electric cars coming up. The 7 Concept has some really neat design details that we hope to see make production eventually. You can get all the coverage you want on this car over at MotorOne.com. And as always, thanks for watching.